meeting to order, if we could, please. In the interest of uh, trying to wrap up in a reasonably timely fashion this evening. Madam Clerk, will you call the roll? Mr. McCord? Mr. Myers? Mr. Stennett? Mr. Beard? Mr. Blues? Ms. Crosby? Here. Mr. Ellinger? Here. Ms. Feigl? Here. Ms. Gordon? Here. Mr. Gray? Here. Ms. Henson? Here. Ms. James? Here. Mr. Lane? Here. Ms. Lawless? Here. And Mr. Martin? Thank you very much. We have a quorum, so let's proceed. It's my pleasure to welcome to the podium the Reverend Martina Ackerman who is with the Rock La Roca United Methodist Church on North Limestone Street. Reverend Mark. Good evening, council members. Thank you for this privilege. Will you pray with me? God of all creation, we invite you into this chamber tonight to guide the thoughts and the actions of those who faithfully serve your people each and every day. We understand how often we can complicate the simple mandate from you about the way to live our lives. It is simply to love God with all your heart, with all your mind, and with all your soul, and your neighbor as yourself. Impart your wisdom on those gathered here tonight, and may we fulfill your purposes, sharing in the many blessings that you have bestowed upon us. I pray this in the name of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Before we get to our ordinances, I understand that we have Troop 111 with us tonight and that Scoutmaster John Alcorn is here. John, thank you very much for bringing the guys down tonight. We're delighted to have you and uh, hope you enjoy the evening. Madam Clerk, will you give second reading to the ordinances entitled to second reading? Number one, an ordinance authorizing and directing the mayor on behalf of the Urban County Government to accept a grant from the Kentucky Justice and Public Safety Cabinet, which grant funds are in the amount of $75,000 federal funds, are for continuation of the Motor Carrier Safety Assistance Program, the acceptance of which obligates the Urban County Government for the expenditure of $18,750 as a local match, appropriating funds pursuant to Schedule Number 73 and authorizing the mayor to transfer unencumbered funds within the grant budget. Number two, an ordinance authorizing and directing the mayor on behalf of the Urban County Government to accept a grant from the U.S. Department of Justice, which grant funds are in the amount <coughs> excuse me, of $181,107 federal funds under the State Criminal Alien Assistance Program, are for reimbursement of costs related to the incarceration of undocumented criminal aliens, the acceptance of which does not obligate the Urban County Government for the expenditure of funds, appropriating funds pursuant to Schedule Number 74, and authorizing the mayor to transfer unencumbered funds within the grant budget. Number three, an ordinance authorizing and directing the mayor on behalf of the Urban County Government to accept a grant from the U.S. Department of Justice, which grant funds are in the amount of $5,287 federal funds, are for the purchase of bulletproof vests for the Division of Police, $1,763, the Division of Fire and Emergency Services, $1,762, and the Office of the Fayette County Sheriff, $1,762, the acceptance of which obligates the Urban County Government for the expenditure of $3,525 as a local match, appropriating funds pursuant to Schedule Number 76 and authorizing the mayor to transfer unencumbered funds within the grant budget. Number four, an ordinance authorizing and directing the mayor on behalf of the Urban County Government to execute and submit a grant application to the Kentucky Justice and Public Safety Cabinet to provide any additional information requested in connection with this grant application and to accept this grant if the application is approved, which grant funds are in the amount of $48,093 federal funds are for continuation of the Sexual Assault Nurse Examiner Program the acceptance of which obligates the Urban County Government for the expenditure of $16,031 as a local match, appropriating funds pursuant to Schedule Number 77 and authorizing the mayor to transfer unencumbered funds within the grant budget. Number five, an ordinance authorizing and directing the mayor on behalf of the Urban County Government to accept a grant from the Kentucky Office of Homeland Security, which grant funds are in the amount of $311,000 federal funds, are for the continuation of the Metropolitan Medical Response System, the acceptance of which does not obligate the Urban County Government for the expenditure of funds, appropriating funds pursuant to Schedule Number 78, and authorizing the Mayor to transfer unencumbered funds within the grant budget. Number six, an ordinance authorizing and directing the Mayor on behalf of the Urban County Government to accept a grant from the Kentucky Office of Homeland Security, which grant funds are in the amount of $71,854 federal funds, 
are for the purchase of equipment for the Division of Police Mobile Data Computer Network System, the acceptance of which does not obligate the Urban County Government for the expenditure of funds, appropriating funds pursuant to Schedule Number 79, and authorizing the Mayor to transfer unencumbered funds within the grant budget. Number seven, an ordinance authorizing and directing the mayor on behalf of the Urban County Government to accept a grant from the U.S. Department of Energy, which grant funds are in the amount of $2,753,800 federal funds under the Energy Efficiency and Conservation Block Grant Program, are for energy management technology for monitoring and analyzing LFUCG's energy consumption, $180,000, energy retrofits to make energy efficiency improvements to LFUCG's buildings and facilities, $1,112,800, a community energy awareness program, $297,000, community energy retrofits to provide grants to nonprofit organizations in Fayette County to reduce energy consumption, $314,000, traffic management technology, $500,000, a community bike program, $175,000, the green roof education program, $25,000, and the recycling efficiency program, $150,000 the acceptance of which does not obligate the Urban County Government for the expenditure of funds, appropriating funds pursuant to Schedule Number 80, and authorizing the Mayor to transfer unencumbered funds within the grant budget. Number 8, an ordinance authorizing and directing the Mayor on behalf of the Urban County Government to execute Change Order Number 1 to the contract with Schaefer Properties, LLC, for the Coolivan Park Community Building, increasing the contract price by the sum of $71,459.44 from $289,750 to $361,209.44, and appropriating funds pursuant to Schedule Number 81. Number 9, an ordinance authorizing and directing the mayor on behalf of the Urban County Government to accept a grant from the Kentucky Office of Homeland Security, which grant funds are in the amount of $80,582 federal funds, are for the purchase of equipment for the Division of Police's Hazardous Devices Unit, the acceptance of which does not obligate the Urban County Government for the expenditure of funds, appropriating funds pursuant to Schedule Number 82, and authorizing the mayor to transfer unencumbered funds within the grant budget. Number 10, an ordinance authorizing and directing the mayor on behalf of the Urban County Government to accept a grant from the Kentucky Office of Homeland Security, which grant funds are in the amount of $117,020 federal funds, are for the purchase of structural response mitigation equipment for the Division of Fire and Emergency Services, the acceptance of which does not obligate the Urban County Government for the expenditure of funds, appropriating funds pursuant to Schedule Number 83, and authorizing the mayor to transfer unencumbered funds within the grant budget. Number 11, an ordinance authorizing and directing the mayor on behalf of the Urban County Government to accept a grant from the Kentucky Office of Homeland Security, which grant funds are in the amount of $82,979 federal funds, are for structural collapse response mitigation certification training for the Division of Fire and Emergency Services, the acceptance of which does not obligate the Urban County Government for the expenditure of funds, appropriating funds pursuant to Schedule Number 84, and authorizing the Mayor to transfer unencumbered funds within the grant budget. Number 12, an ordinance amending certain of the budgets of the Lexington Fayette Urban County Government to reflect current requirements for municipal expenditures and appropriating and reappropriating funds, Schedule Number 75. Thank you. That concludes the reading of the ordinance is entitled to second reading. Is there a motion to approve? No Councilmember Lane has moved to approve those ordinances. Councilmember Ellinger has seconded the motion. Any discussion? Seeing none, we'll proceed to vote. Those in favor of approving those ordinances, please indicate by voting aye electronically. Those opposed, vote nay electronically. And Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Mr. McCord? Yes. Mr. Myers? Yes. Mr. Stennett? Yes. Mr. Blues? Yes. Ms. Crosby? Yes. Mr. Ellinger? Yes. Ms. Feigl? Yes. Ms. Gorton? Aye. Mr. Gray? Mr. Gray? Yes. Ms. Henson? Yes. Ms. James? Mr. Lane? Yes. Ms. Lawless? Yes. Mr. Martin? Yes. Thank you. Those ordinances are approved. Madam Clerk, if you'll give first reading to the ordinances entitled to first reading. Number 13, an ordinance expanding and extending the full urban services district number one to provide street lighting, street cleaning, and garbage and refuse collection to include the area defined as certain properties on the following streets. Millican Property, Shady Hills, Treeline Way, Tuscany Unit 4A, Summerfield, Meeting Street, Patch and Wilkes Drive, Tuscany Unit 4B, Summerfield, Sandhurst Cove, Battery Street, Patch and Wilkes Drive, Tuscany Unit 4C, Summerfield, Battery Street, Mahon Property, Lot 1, Mooncoin Way, Tuscany Unit 4E, Summerfield, Patch and Wilkes Drive, Newtown Springs, LCC, Unit 1, Section 2, Newtown Center Way, Beaumont Farm, Unit 1, Section 5, Beaumont Center Circle, Midnight Pass, Sharkey Property, Unit 4, Section 1, Louis Place, Wheel and Baker Property, Russell Cave Road, Richardson Property, Unit 5, Section 2, Hannah Todd Place, Bluegrass Aspendale, Phase 3, Race Street, 4th Street, Cunningham Lane, Julia Way, Shropshire Avenue, 5th Street, Nelson Avenue, Mustang Crossing Drive, 
Lockmere Estates, Maple Ridge, Unit 1B, Section 1, Lockmere Place. Guest Property, Unit 5C, Section 2, Honeycomb Trail. Guest Property, Unit 5D, Section 2, uh, Marlberry Place. Guest Property, Unit 5E, Section 2, Maiden Cane Drive. New Market, Unit 4B, Brick House Lane. Mayon Property, Unit 1B, Manowar Boulevard. Spencer Park, Parker Meadows, Madison Point Drive. Mayon Property, Unit 1C, Parker Meadows, Victoria Way, Madison Point Drive. Green Hill, Greendale Hills, Unit 3, Merluna Drive, Crescenzio Road, Cielo Vista Road. Guest Property, Unit 11A, Lark Hill Lane, Marcus Trail, Bull Rush Trace, Sunny Slope Farm, Unit 3, Phase 2, Silver Bell Trace, I'll Kelly see. Rose Way, Tuscany, Unit 4F, Summerfield, Sandhurst Cove, Calumet Terrace Subdivision, Lot 8 and 9, Viley Road, Blackford Property, Phase 3, Unit 1A, Section 2, Blackford Parkway, Blackford Property, Unit, I'm sorry, Blackford Property, Phase 3, Unit 1B, Section 2, Cornelius Trace. Number 14, an ordinance expanding and extending partial urban services district number three for the urban county government for the provision of garbage and refuse collection to include the area defined as certain properties on the following streets. Sharkey Property, Unit 3, Section 2, Town Square Park, Meadow Oaks, Ashford Oaks, Unit 1B, Section 1, Bob White Trail, Marshall Property, Unit 2I, Section 1, McConnell's Trace, Bruce Properties, Corinthian Court, Lockmere Estates, <coughs> Maple Ridge, Unit 1B, Section 2, Lockmere Place, Denton Farms Incorporated, Unit 3, Section A, Summersley Place, Wentworth Place, Sunny Slope Farm Townhomes, Silverville Trace, Lockmere Estates, Maple Ridge, Unit 1A, Lockmere Place, Marshall Property, Unit 2I, Section 2, McConnell's Trace, Hamburg Place Farm, Sir Barton Way. Number 15, an ordinance of the Lexington Fayette Urban County Council relating to, one, the refunding of A, the $6,300,000 Lexington Fayette Urban County Government Adjustable Rate Industrial Building Revenue Bonds, Roman Catholic Diocese of Lexington Project, Series 2005A, <coughs> B, the $4,735,000 Lexington Fayette Urban County Government Adjustable Rate Industrial Building Revenue Bonds, Roman Catholic Diocese of Lexington Project, Series 2005B, and C, the $5 million Lexington Fayette Urban County Government Adjustable Rate Industrial Building Revenue Bonds, Roman Catholic Diocese of Lexington Project, Series 2008. And two, the financing of the acquisition, construction, equipping, and installation of the completion of an approximately 61,120 square foot three story addition to St. Peter and Paul Middle School and completion of renovation of both the St. Peter and Paul Elementary and Middle Schools, collectively the project. Three, agreeing to undertake the issuance of Lexington Fayette Urban County refunding revenue notes in three series and a Lexington revenue note in one series in an aggregate amount not to exceed $20,409,000, the notes. Four, approving and authorizing the execution and delivery of A, a loan agreement among the Lexington Fayette Urban County Government, Roman Catholic Diocese of Lexington, and PNC Bank National Association, B, the notes, and C, any and all other related documents and authorizing the taking of other related action. Number 16. An ordinance of the Lexington Fayette Urban County Government making certain findings concerning and establishing a development area for economic development purposes within the downtown of the Lexington Fayette Urban County to be known as the Show Prop Lexington Development Area. Approving a local participation agreement between Lexington Fayette Urban County Government and the Department of Finance and Administration of the Lexington Fayette Urban County Government. Establishing an incremental tax special fund for payment of redevelopment assistance. Approved public infrastructure costs, land preparation, demolition and clearing costs, and financing costs. Designating the Lexington Fayette Urban County Government's Department of Finance and Administration as the agency responsible for oversight, administration, and implementation of the development area, and authorizing the mayor and other officials to take such other appropriate actions as are necessary or required in connection with the establishment of the development area. Number 17, an ordinance providing that roll cart garbage and refuse collection shall be provided to property described in guest property units 2A, 2B, and 2C in accordance with Chapter 16 of the Code of Ordinances. Number 18, an ordinance amending certain of the budgets of the Lexington Fayette Urban County Government to reflect current requirements for municipal expenditures and appropriating and reappropriating funds, schedule number 86. Thank you. That concludes the reading of the ordinances entitled to first reading. If there are no motions, we'll proceed. Seeing none, Madam Clerk, please give a second reading to the resolutions entitled to second reading. Resolution number one, a resolution accepting the bid of Dixon Electric Incorporated, establishing a price contract for traffic sign installation and maintenance for the Division of Traffic Engineering. Number two, a resolution accepting the bid of i Technology Incorporated, establishing a price contract for EOD backpack rigging kits for the Division of Police. Number three, a resolution accepting the bids of Municipal Equipment Incorporated, Central Indiana Truck Equipment Corporation, J. Edinger & Son Incorporated, Easy Pack Holdings LLC and Republic Diesel establishing price contracts for refuse parts for the Division of Facilities and Fleet Management. Number four, a resolution accepting the bids of Scott Health and Safety, 
Kara Fisher Process Industries and Alpha Controls Incorporated, establishing price contracts for analog gas transmitter and a one through four channel receiver for the Division of Water Quality. Number five, a resolution accepting the bid of Clonch Construction LLC in the amount of $407,605.70 for the West Hickman Trail Project for the Division of Engineering and authorizing and directing the mayor on behalf of the Urban County Government to execute an agreement with Clonch Construction LLC related to the bid. Number six, a resolution accepting the bid of Aero Electric, establishing a price contract for fiber optic cable installation and repair for the Division of Traffic Engineering. Number seven, a resolution accepting the bids of Wesco Distribution, Annexter, Rexold Electrical and Datacom, and Gray Bar Electric Company, establishing price contracts for fiber optic cable and control equipment for the Division of Traffic Engineering. Number eight, a resolution accepting the bid of Davis H. Elliott Construction Company, Incorporated, establishing a price contract for traffic signal installation for new construction and emergency repairs for the Division of Traffic Engineering. Number nine, a resolution authorizing and directing the mayor on behalf of the Urban County Government to execute agreements with the Bluegrass Youth for Christ, Incorporated, $150 and Bluegrass Community Action Partnership Incorporated $800 for the Office of the Urban County Council at a cost not to exceed the sum stated. Number 10, a resolution authorizing and directing the mayor on behalf of the Urban County Government to execute a facility usage contract with the Fayette County Board of Education for the Police Athletic League at no cost to the Urban County Government. Number 11, a resolution authorizing and directing the mayor on behalf of the Urban County Government to accept a donation from Bluegrass Junior Women's Club of an LCD television and laptop computer for use at the Division of Police at no cost to the Urban County Government. Number 12, a resolution authorizing and directing the mayor on behalf of the Urban County Government to execute change order number one to the contract with France Incorporated for HVAC upgrade, increasing the contract price by the sum of $3,527 from $120,290 to $123,817. Number 13, a resolution authorizing and directing the mayor on behalf of the Urban County Government to execute an amendment to agreement with REACH Incorporated for an additional $400,000 for the first time home buyers program at a cost not to exceed an additional $400,000. 14, a resolution authorizing and directing the mayor on behalf of the Urban County Government to execute change order number one to the contract with Elza Construction for site preparation of property located at 898 Georgetown Road, increasing the contract price by the sum of $2,624.88 from $540,335.25 to $542,960.13. Number 15, a resolution authorizing and directing the mayor on behalf of the Urban County Government to execute a facility usage agreement with various baseball leagues for use of baseball fields at no cost to the Urban County Government. Number 16, a resolution authorizing and directing the mayor on behalf of the Urban County Government to execute purchase contracts, deeds, and other necessary documents for the purchase of properties with neighborhood stabilization program funds for land banking activities at a cost not to exceed $1,371,047. Number 17, a resolution ratifying the probationary civil service appointments of Jonathan Miller, public service worker, senior, grade 107N, 12.701 hourly in the Division of Streets, Roads, and Forestry, effective November 9, 2009. Timothy Burnett, public service worker, senior, grade 107N, 13.299 hourly in the Division of Streets, Roads, and Forestry, effective November 9, 2009. James Clark, public service worker, senior, grade 107N, 13.299 hourly in the Division of Streets, Roads, and Forestry, effective November 9, 2009. Samuel Williams, Director of Streets, Roads, and Forestry, Grade 123E, 3,557.70 biweekly in the Division of Streets, Roads, and Forestry, effective November 9, 2009. Keith Martin, Public Service Supervisor, Grade 111N, 18.290 hourly in the Division of Streets, Roads, and Forestry, effective November 9, 2009. James Webb, Public Service Supervisor, Grade 111N, 20.943 hourly in the Division of Streets, Roads, and Forestry, effective November 9, 2009. Jason Barker, Administrative Specialist, Grade 110N, 16.889 hourly in the Division of Waste Management, effective November 9, 2009. Chris Kwan, Traffic Information Technician, Grade 112N, 17.346 hourly in the Division of Traffic Engineering, effective November 9, 2009. Chris Shapley, Traffic Signal Technician Senior, Grade 112N, 18.228 hourly in the Division of Traffic Engineering, effective November 9, 2009. Richard Fowler, Traffic Signal Technician Senior, Grade 112N, 19.698 hourly in the Division of Traffic Engineering, effective November 9, 2009. Jessica Williams, Budget Analyst, Grade 115E, 1,769.23 biweekly in the Division of Budgeting, effective December 7, 2009. Number 18, a resolution authorizing and directing the mayor on behalf of the Urban County Government to execute a lease agreement with the Lexington Art League Incorporated for use of the Loudon House at no cost up to the Urban County Government. Number 19, a resolution authorizing and directing the mayor on behalf of the Urban County Government to execute change order number one to the contract with Paul Rosa Pohl for the Raven Run Tourist Center, increasing the contract price by the sum of $3,690 from $22,584 to $26,274. 
Number 20, a resolution authorizing and directing the mayor on behalf of the urban county government to execute change order number one to the contract with H.W. Lochner Incorporated for right-of-way services for the Newtown Pike Extension product Project Mitigation Area, increasing the contract price by the sum of $1,031.25 from $196,650 to $197,681.25. Number 21, a resolution authorizing and directing the mayor on behalf of the urban county government to execute a definitive relocation agreement with Windstream Kentucky East LLC for relocation of utilities for the South Limestone Streetscape project at a cost not to exceed $222,191. Number 22, a resolution authorizing and directing the mayor on behalf of the urban county government to execute a fiber optic cable relocation agreement with TW Telecom of Kentucky LLC for relocation of fiber optic cable for the South Limestone Street, Streetscape project at a cost not to exceed $18,886.22. Number 23, a resolution authorizing and directing the mayor on behalf of the urban county government to execute a rental agreement with the Lexington Center Corporation for rental of Rep Arena for the 2009 Kentucky Christmas course at a cost not to exceed $27,000. 24, a resolution authorizing and directing the mayor on behalf of the urban county government to execute certificates of consideration and other necessary documents for property interests needed for the Citation Boulevard Phase II roadway project at a cost not to exceed $7,900,000. Number 25, a resolution authorizing and directing the mayor on behalf of the urban county government to execute an agreement with Military Missions Incorporated, $750 for the office of the urban county council at a cost not to exceed the sum stated. Thank you. That concludes the reading of the resolutions entitled to second reading. Is there a motion to approve? I have a motion by Council Member Ellinger, second by Council Member Stinnett to approve the resolutions that just received second reading. Any discussion? All in favor then, please indicate by voting aye electronically. Those opposed, vote nay electronically. And Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Mr. McCord? Aye. Mr. Myers? Yes. Mr. Stinnett? Mr. Blues? Yes. Ms. Crosby? Yes. Mr. Ellinger? Yes. Ms. Feigl? Yes. Ms. Gorton? Aye. Mr. Gray? Yes. Ms. Henson? Yes. Ms. James? Mr. Lane? Yes. Ms. Lawless? Yes. Mr. Martin? Yes. Thank you. Those resolutions are approved. Madam Clerk, if you'll give first reading to the resolutions entitled to first reading. Number 26, a resolution accepting the bid of G4S Justice Services Incorporated, establishing a price contract for electronic monitoring of inmates for the Division of Community Corrections. Number 27, a resolution accepting the bid of Amtech of Kentucky Incorporated, establishing a price contract for maintenance of outdoor warning sirens for the Division of Emergency Management 911. Number 28, a resolution accepting the bid of LM Asphalt Partners Limited, doing business as ATS Construction, establishing a price contract for asphalt for the Division of Streets, Roads, and Forestry. Number 29, a resolution accepting the bid of Mid-South Baseball Incorporated, establishing a price contract for baseball field drying conditioners for the Division of Parks and Recreation. Number 30, a resolution accepting the bid of Clonch Construction, LLC, in the amount of $314,165.65 for the Leesway Drive Sanitary Sewer Improvements for the Division of Engineering and authorizing and directing the mayor on behalf of the urban county government to execute an agreement with Clonch Construction, LLC, related to the bid. Number 31, a resolution accepting the bid of Land Pro, establishing a price contract for the Community Corrections Scenic Corridor Tree Project for the Department of Public Safety and the Division of Community Corrections. Number 32, a resolution accepting the bid of Brintag Mid-South, establishing a price contract for odor control chemicals for the Division of Water Quality. Number 33, a resolution ratifying the probationary civil service appointments of Dustin Baker, GIS Specialist, Grade 114N, 19.855 hourly in the Division of Computer Services, effective November 9, 2009. Lee McKinney, Electronic Computer Control Specialist, Grade 113N, 25.013 hourly in the Division of Community Corrections, effective November 9, 2009. Kent Dornbrock, Golf Course Superintendent Senior, Grade 116E, 2,354.64 biweekly in the Division of Parks and Recreation, effective November 9, 2009, ratifying the unclassified civil service appointment of Jerry Boyd, Security Officer, Grade 106N, 10.367 hourly in the Division of Facilities and Fleet Management, effective November 23, 2009. Number 34, a resolution of the Lexington Fayette Urban County Council authorizing the execution of a memorandum of agreement between Lexington Fayette Urban County Government and Roman Catholic Diocese of Lexington, a nonprofit organization relating to one, the refunding of A, the $6,300,000 Lexington Fayette Urban County Government Adjustable Rate Industrial Building Revenue Bonds, Roman Catholic Diocese of Lexington Project, Series 2005A, and B, the $4,735,000 Lexington Fayette Urban County Government Adjustable Rate Industrial Building Revenue Bonds, Roman Catholic Diocese of Lexington Project, Series 2005B, 
and C, the $5 million Lexington Fayette Urban County Government Adjustable Rate Industrial Building Revenue Bonds Roman Catholic Diocese of Lexington Project Series 2008, and two, the financing of the acquisition, construction, equipping, and installation of the completion of an approximately 61,120 square foot three-story addition to Saints Peter and Paul Middle School, and completion of renovation of both the Saints Peter and Paul Elementary and Middle Schools, collectively the project, agreeing to undertake the issuance of Lexington Fayette Urban County refunding revenue notes in three series and a Lexington revenue note in one series in an aggregate amount not to exceed $20,409,000 at the appropriate time to pay for costs of the project and taking other preliminary action. Number 35, a resolution authorizing and directing the mayor on behalf of the urban county government to execute a memorandum of agreement with the administrative office of the courts for the division of community corrections to conduct urine testing for Fayette County drug courts. Number 36, a resolution authorizing and directing the mayor on behalf of the Urban County Government to execute a professional services agreement with Greenberg Traurig LLP for assisting the Division of Community Corrections with negotiation of a new per diem for housing federal prisoners at a cost not to exceed $45,000. Number 37, a resolution authorizing and directing the mayor on behalf of the Urban County Government to execute change order number one to the contract with Schroeder Construction Incorporated for the Caden Town Versailles Road Sanitary Sewer Improvements Project, increasing the contract price by the sum of $119,819.49 from $696,637.75 to $816,457.24. Number 38, a resolution authorizing and directing the mayor on behalf of the Urban County Government to execute an engineering services agreement with Convirons Incorporated for the Dixie Pump Station upgrade and force main improvements at a cost not to exceed $30,730. Number 39, a resolution authorizing and directing the mayor on behalf of the Urban County Government to execute an engineering services agreement with BTM Engineering Incorporated for the Deep Springs Pump Station Upgrade and Force Main Improvements at a cost not to exceed $51,500. Number 40, a resolution authorizing and directing the mayor on behalf of the Urban County Government to execute an engineering services agreement with Strand Associates Incorporated for process and control improvements at Town Branch Wastewater Treatment Plant, West Hickman Wastewater Treatment Plant, and all pump stations at a cost not to exceed $2,859,500. Number 41, a resolution authorizing and directing the mayor on behalf of the Urban County Government to execute a release of easement, releasing a streetlight easement on property located at 2705 and 2709 Meadow Suite Lane. Number 42, a resolution authorizing and directing the mayor on behalf of the Urban County Government to execute a memorandum of understanding with the Lexington Fayette County Health Department for the provision of vaccination-related services in the event of a public health crisis retroactive to October 21, 2009, at no cost to the government. Number 43, a resolution authorizing and directing the mayor on behalf of the Urban County Government to execute a merchant processing application and agreement with Direct Connect LLC for credit card processing through the internet for certain fee payments, and further authorizing and directing the execution by appropriate personnel of an online registration service agreement with Plug and Pay Technologies for Gateway Services for the Division of Parks and Recreation in respective amounts based upon actual usage, which total amount is estimated to be $2,000 for the remainder of this fiscal year. Number 44, a resolution authorizing and directing the mayor on behalf of the Urban County Government to execute a facility usage contract with Fayette County Board of Education for use of Jesse Clark Middle School at a cost not to exceed $4,001.30. Number 45, a resolution authorizing and directing the mayor on behalf of the Urban County Government to execute an agreement with Kentucky Utilities Company to attach banner equipment to polls at no cost to the Urban County Government. Number 46, a resolution authorizing and directing the mayor on behalf of the Urban County Government to execute a facility usage contract with Fayette County Board of Education for use of Yates Elementary Gym at a cost not to exceed $4,080. Number 47, a resolution requesting that the legislature amend KRS 100.991 to expressly authorize urban county governments and other local governments to issue civil fines for violating the provisions of KRS Chapter 100, the zoning law, and hereby notifying Governor Steve Bashir, Senate President David L. Williams, House Speaker Greg Stumbo, and Fayette County's legislators of this resolution and authorizing and directing the Director of Government Relations to take any other appropriate action consistent with the intent of this resolution. Number 48, a resolution requesting that the legislature amend KRS 100.991 to increase the penalties and hereby notifying Governor Steve Bashir, Senate President David L. Williams, House Speaker Greg Stumbo, and Fayette County's legislators of this resolution and authorizing and directing the Director of Government Relations to take any other appropriate action consistent with the intent of this resolution. Number 49, a resolution authorizing and directing the mayor on behalf of the Urban County Government to execute a memorandum of understanding with the Lexington Fayette Urban County Housing Authority and REACH Incorporated to provide home ownership counseling for the HOPE 6 revitalization grant at no cost to the Urban County Government. 
Number 50, a resolution authorizing and directing the mayor on behalf of the Urban County Government to execute an amendment to agreement with MES Enterprises, LLC, to adjust the monthly rental schedule to provide for a lump sum rental payment in the amount of $22,790.62. Number 51, a resolution authorizing and directing the mayor on behalf of the Urban County Government to execute an acquisition, arbitration, and settlement agreement with Elkhorn Bend, LLC, the Lexington Fayette Urban County Airport Board, and Wayne Murdy, related to the condemnation proceeding previously authorized by the Urban County Council pursuant to resolution number 317, 2008, at no cost to the Urban County Government. Number 52, a resolution authorizing and directing the Department of Finance and Administration beginning fiscal year 2011 to designate a fund of up to $200,000 per fiscal year to be funded by the actual amount of collections of nuisance abatement costs and civil penalties issued by the Division of Code Enforcement in order to fund abatement-related activities by the Division of Code Enforcement. Number 53, a resolution authorizing and directing the mayor on behalf of the Urban County Government to execute an assignment of scenic and conservation easements with Fayette County Rural Land Management Board, Incorporated for assignment of the scenic and conservation easements on the Mary E. Wharton Nature Sanctuary at Flora Cliff at no cost to the Urban County Government. Number 54, a resolution authorizing and directing the mayor on behalf of the Urban County Government to execute a purchase of service agreement with Bluegrass State Games Incorporated for implementation of the Bluegrass State Games Incorporated at a cost not to exceed $52,500. Number 55, a resolution pursuant to Code of Ordinances, Section 18-66, designating the speed limit on Pleasant Ridge Drive from Aspen Street to Autumn Ridge Drive as 25 miles per hour, and authorizing and directing the Division of Traffic Engineering to install proper and appropriate signs in accordance with the designation. Number 56, a resolution authorizing and directing the Division of Traffic Engineering pursuant to Code of Ordinances, Section 18-46, to designate David Drive as being prohibited to through trucks, authorizing and directing the Division of Traffic Engineering to install proper and appropriate signs in accordance with the designation. Number 57, a resolution authorizing and directing the mayor on behalf of the Urban County Government to execute certificates of consideration and accept a deed conveying a permanent sanitary sewer easement for the property located at 2550 Winchester Road as part of the Hamburg East Development at no cost to the Urban County Government. Number 58, a resolution authorizing and directing the mayor on behalf of the Urban County Government to execute a certificate of consideration and accept a deed conveying a greenway from the owner of record for property located at 177 Robinson Way in the Masterson Station Center, Citation Village, and Great House property at no cost to the Urban County Government. Thank you. Are there motions? Councilmember James. Thank you, Mayor. Um, Mayor, I must ask for a suspension of the rules and ask for second reading of number 49. Excuse me, uh, oh. Councilmember McCord. I'm sorry, Councilmember James. Yeah, I'm going to on. walk on one. Sure. I apologize. Uh, Mayor, I'd like to uh, walk on a resolution, uh, re resolution authorizing and directing the mayor on behalf of the Urban County Government to execute the uh, FY10 Purchase of Service Agreement with Commerce Lexington, Inc., for the facilitation of economic development activities and initiatives at the cost not to exceed $522,170. So moved. Second. Thank you. I have a motion by Councilmember McCord and second by Councilmember Myers to uh, authorize execution of a PSA with Commerce Lexington. Any discussion? All in favor then of adding that item to the agenda, please indicate by saying aye. Opposed, no. Motion carries. Madam Clerk, if you'll give first reading, then Councilmember James will come back around to you here. Resolution number 59, a resolution authorizing and directing the mayor on behalf of the Urban County Government to execute the fiscal year 10 purchase of service agreement with Commerce Lexington Incorporated for the facilitation of economic development activities and initiatives at a cost not to exceed $522,170. Thank you very much. Now, <clears throat> Councilmember James. Thank you, Mayor. Um, I'd like to request a suspension of the rules to give second reading to number 49. Um, time is of the essence as far as hiring this individual. Do I hear a second? Second. I have Thanks. a second by Council Member Gordon. Are there others that we might add by way of friendly amendment here? Uh, I'll just go down the list. Council Member Blues. Thank you, Mayor. I'd like to add uh, number 30 so that we can. Uh, move this uh, neighborhood sewering project closer to the construction phase. Number 43, uh, at the request of the administration so that we can expedite the, uh, the online credit card processing uh, <coughs> for, uh, for, for Parks and Rec. And number 58, the, uh, which has a connection to the uh, Leesway sewering project. So moved. Thank you. No objection. We'll add that. Uh, let's see. Councilmember Myers. 
Thank you, Mayor. I'd like to add number 59 to that so that Commerce Lexington can get their marching orders and, and keep starting, keep working on that. And then also um, number 41. Thank you. Thank you, Council Member Henson. Thank you, Mayor. I would like to <coughs> suspend the rules and give second reading to number 47 and number 48 to just to expedite the process. Thank you. Well, no objection. We'll do that. Council Member Lawless. Oh, I'm sorry. All right. Answer. Council Member Stennett and Council Member Gordon. Thank you, Mayor. Number 38 and 39 are the second and third items on the EPA uh, consent decree to move those forward. And number 55 to coordinate the speed limit on this road to make it all even. Thank you, Mayor. Council Member Gordon. Thank you, Mayor. Number uh, 42, which deals with the Fayette County Health Department and uh, their vaccination services. Any others? Councilmember Lane. Uh, number 51, please. Any more? All right. Then I have a motion to suspend the rules for purposes of giving second reading to the following resolutions. 30, 38, 39, 41, 42, 43, 47, 48, 49, 51, 55, 58, and 59. Did I miss any? All right. Those in favor of suspending the rules for purposes of giving second reading to those items, please indicate by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Motion carries. Madam Clerk. For second reading, resolution number 30, a resolution accepting the bid of Clonch Construction, LLC, in the amount of $314,165.65, for the Leesway Drive Sanitary Sewer Improvements for the Division of Engineering and authorizing and directing the mayor on behalf of the Urban County Government to execute an agreement with Clonch Construction, LLC, related to the bid. Number 38. A resolution authorizing and directing the mayor on behalf of the Urban County Government to execute an engineering services agreement with Kinbyron's Incorporated for the Dixie Pump Station upgrade and force main improvements at a cost not to exceed $30,730. Number 39, a resolution authorizing and directing the mayor on behalf of the Urban County Government to execute an engineering services agreement with BTM Engineering Incorporated for the Deep Springs Pump Station upgrade and force main improvements at a cost not to exceed $51,500. Number 41, a resolution authorizing and directing the mayor on behalf of the Urban County Government to execute a release of easement, releasing a streetlight easement on property located at 2705 and 2709 Meadow Suite Lane. Number 42, a resolution authorizing and directing the mayor on behalf of the Urban County Government to execute a memorandum of understanding with the Lexington Fayette County Health Department for the provision of vaccination related services in the event of a public health crisis retroactive to October 21, 2009 at no cost to the government. Number 43, a resolution authorizing and directing the mayor on behalf of the Urban County Government to execute a merchant processing application and agreement with Direct Connect LLC for credit card processing through the internet for certain fee payments and further authorizing and directing the execution by appropriate personnel of an online registration service agreement with plug-and-pay technologies for gateway services for the Division of Parks and Recreation in respective amounts based upon actual usage, which total amount is estimated to be $2,000 for the remainder of this fiscal year. Number 47. A resolution requesting that the legislature amend KRS 100.991 to expressly authorize urban county governments and other local governments to issue civil fines for violating the provisions of KRS Chapter 100 zoning law and hereby notifying Governor Steve Bashir, Senate President David L. Williams, House Speaker Greg Stumbo, and Fayette County's legislators of this resolution and authorizing and directing the Director of Government Relations to take any other appropriate action consistent with the intent of this resolution. Number 48, a resolution requesting that the legislature amend KRS 100.991 to increase the penalties and hereby notifying Governor Steve Bashir, Senate President David L. Williams, House Speaker Greg Stumbo, and Fayette County's legislators of this resolution and authorizing and directing the Director of Government Relations to take any other appropriate action consistent with the intent of this resolution. Number 49. A resolution authorizing and directing the mayor on behalf of the Urban County Government to execute a memorandum of understanding with the Lexington Fayette Urban County Housing Authority and REACH Incorporated to provide home ownership counseling for the HOPE 6 revitalization grant at no cost to the Urban County Government. Number 51, 
A resolution authorizing and directing the mayor on behalf of the Urban County Government to execute an acquisition, arbitration, and settlement agreement with Elkhorn Bend, LLC, the Lexington Fayette Urban County Airport Board, and Wayne Murty related to the condemnation proceeding previously authorized by the Urban County Council pursuant to resolution number 317-2008 at no cost to the Urban County Government. Number 55. A resolution pursuant to Code of Ordinances, Section 18-66, designating the speed limit on Pleasant Ridge Drive from Aspen Street to Autumn Ridge Drive as 25 miles per hour, and authorizing and directing the Division of Traffic Engineering to install proper and appropriate signs in accordance with the designation. Number 58. A resolution authorizing and directing the Mayor on behalf of the Urban County Government to execute a certificate of consideration and accept a deed conveying a greenway from the owner of record for property located at 177 Robinson Way in the Masterson Station Center, Citation Village, and Great House property at no cost to the Urban County Government. And number 59, a resolution authorizing and directing the Mayor on behalf of the Urban County Government to execute the Fiscal Year 10 Purchase of Service Agreement with Commerce Lexington Incorporated for the facilitation of economic development activities and initiatives at a cost not to exceed $522,170. Do I hear a motion to approve those resolutions? Second. I have a motion by Councilmember Crosby and a second by Councilmember Myers to approve the resolutions which just received second reading. Any discussion? Seeing none, we'll proceed to vote. Those in favor of approving those resolutions, please indicate by voting aye electronically. Those opposed, vote nay electronically. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Mr. McCord? Yes. Mr. Myers? Yes. Mr. Stennett? Yes. Mr. Blues? Yes. Ms. Crosby? Yes. Mr. Ellinger? Yes. Ms. Feigl? Ms. Gordon? Aye. Mr. Gray? Yes. Ms. Henson? Yes. Ms. James? No on 59 and yes on the rest. That's recorded. Thanks. Mr. Lane? Uh, yes. Ms. Lawless? Yes. And Mr. Martin? Yes. Thank you. Those resolutions are approved. <laughs> Item 7 on the agenda. Uh, is uh, the item of communications from the mayor. Is there a motion to approve? I have a motion by Councilmember Crosby, second by Councilmember Myers. Any discussion? All in favor of approving those communications, please indicate by saying aye. aye. Opposed, no. The motion carries. It takes us down to announcements. Does any council member have an announcement mayor, for this evening? I, I do. Councilmember McCord. I just want to say a, a special thanks to uh, a couple of firefighters and, and a police officer. We had a a fire at 1017 Spring Run Road in the 9th District last night, and, and uh, as reported in the paper, Officer, uh, Officer Police Officer Todd, uh, along with uh, Lieutenant uh, John Gosper and, and Firefighter uh, uh, Terrence Gatewood, had, uh, had gone into a burning building and, and saved a couple of folks. Uh, and uh, that act of, of heroism, you know, can, uh, can be just part of the job. But I'm, I'm very appreciative to those, those three individuals, but also Engine 20 that responded to. Uh, to this fire, and, and I know the family uh, that lives there is very appreciative. So, uh, Commissioner and, and Chiefs, uh, thank you very much for the work that, that people do every single day on our police and fire uh, in our police and fire departments. Thank you, Mayor. Amen. Councilmember James. Mayor, it's probably too late, but on the um, communications from the mayor, number three, there was one of those. Um, recommendations and and it was not a Fayette County employee and I wish to vote no on that if it's too late that's fine um, and I'll just make my statement that I I don't support um, that person being on the board not because of them personally but I just they're not a Fayette County in, uh, resident and I just don't think we want to start a precedent with that so I'm not sure what the rules are but I don't want to vote in favor of that I believe the rules have been generally interpreted subject to some different opinion from the parliamentarian that once the vote is closed, the, the vote is taken and is final, but your comments are duly noted. Thanks. Um, so it went kind of comments. fast. Um, if you when you're doing the votes, if you can just take just a moment of pause. If we're not doing the electronic vote, it would help a little bit. All right. Thank you. Anything further in the announcement department? That takes us down to public comments. I don't have anyone who has signed up to comment. All right, Mr. McCarthy. I sure thought I was signing the thing to comment. It, I it just it hadn't made its way to me yet, but okay. I'm sure you have. You know the, the record, process probably is, better than we do, as a matter of fact. For the record, my name is Bernard McCarthy. My address is 515 Harry Street. I wish to point out that despite all the environmentalist propaganda to the contrary, 
I believe it is possible to build our way out of traffic congestion. Costly, yes, but possible. I think it takes a multi-pronged approach to pull it off, though. First, you've got to make developers provide streets that connect instead of the dead ends they seem to prefer and charge them impact fees to go towards off-site improvements made necessary by new growth. Second, in any redevelopment areas, if somebody tears down a building for reasons totally unrelated to roads, you need to look at that lot and, say, and ask yourself, would this land be useful for lengthening a dead-end street and turning it into a through street? If so, buy it before anybody gets a chance to put a new building back in the way. Take down any barricades that your predecessors have put up across various streets to prevent cutting, people cutting through neighborhoods. Buy back any right-of-way you've given away. Reopen the closed streets and let the people cut through. Recognize that cut through is part of the solution, not the problem. And at the state and national levels, it is going to require more money put in the roads to unsnarl things. But I would point out that one of the things needed, while I say we can build our way out of congestion, what we probably can't do is widen our way out. We do need some new roads in new places, both lengthening dead ends to make them connect, and out in the countryside, <coughs> instead of focusing on upgrading roads to get people to and from the nearest cities, what <coughs> needs to happen is the state and federal governments need to work on building or upgrading roads that will allow cross-country travelers, whether vacationers or truckers, to get to their destination without having to go through any cities other than the one they start from and the one they're going to. I think it's kind of crazy at the national level, for instance, that I have to go through Atlanta in order to get from here to Miami. I mean, I-75 meanders quite a bit just to go through cities that did not happen to be in a nice, neat, straight line. If we could convince three states to the south of here to build a shortcut from somewhere in the vicinity of Knoxville to somewhere in the vicinity of Macon. Every truckload of oranges, pecans, peaches, peanuts, Vidalia onions or whatever that's grown somewhere to the south of Macon would get here about an hour or two fresher. And I would also suggest that it would save people fuel if you in other words, that's why I say you got to do more than widen. You've got to connect up some places because that would be what would save fuel and actually cut out some traffic. Thank you, Mr. McCarthy. I've now received the sign-up sheet, and I have two other individuals who have signed up. Uh, Pam Brandenburg. Ms. Brandenburg, if you'd step to the podium and give us your address. You'll have three minutes. Debbie's giving me her three minutes just in case I need it. All right. Uh, ladies and gentlemen of the council, Mayor Newberry, Vice Mayor uh, Gray, good evening. My name is Pam Brandenburg, and I'm an employee of the Urban County Government and the current president-elect for the CSEA AFSCME Local 3562. I do not live in Fayette County. I stand before you a very upset individual. If the proposed health care package for calendar year 2010 is passed by this council, it will mean that the minimal 1% increase in pay given to the non-collective bargaining personnel will be reduced to almost less than nothing for some and a cut in pay for most. It will mean that the 18 cents per hour that I got in July will now be reduced to around a penny an hour. That is not only insulting, it is a slap in the face and it is not acceptable. In response to an email to some of the council members, I got the impression that some of you were not aware that there is an increase included in the package. Let me assure you there is. I pay as an employee only a premium of $165 per pay period for health coverage alone, and that doesn't include dental, vision, and life. By the time those items are covered, the amount of money given to us in the benefit pool is gone, and I'm already out of pocket for insurance. The communication from Mr. Allen shows that the rate for my choice of plan will now be $178 per pay period. That means with only $177 in change, 
going into my benefit pool, I will be out of pocket beginning with the medical coverage alone, not to mention the other items. The non-collective bargaining personnel of LFUCG did our part to ease the economic crisis by accepting, without rancor, a minimal 1% raise while the collective bargaining personnel were getting a range of 28 to 14% raises, not to mention the raise in their benefit pool money as well. It is not fair to now hit us with this jump in out-of-pocket cost of health insurance that reduces our minuscule raise to 0% and less while our counterparts have been collecting, have, who have collective bargaining are getting so much more. I realize that we have some of the finest in our police and fire personnel and their jobs are very dangerous. I appreciate that fact. They deserve every dime they make. But in terms of benefits, I don't understand why the families of the non-collective bargaining personnel are less deserving than the families of those with collective bargaining when it comes to the cost factor of insuring them. Please. Do not vote this health care package in if it is to include an increase in the medical premiums for employees. It is going to hurt most those of us who can least afford it. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Brandenburg. Does anyone else wish to address the council? Seeing none, is there a motion to adjourn? Second. I have a motion by Councilmember Crosby and a second by Councilmember Gordon. All in favor, please indicate by saying aye. Opposed, no. Motion carries. Thank you.